going through how you set up Time Machine on your MacBook. So Time Machine, for people that don't know, is Apple's inbuilt backup data app. Um, and it makes it simple to back up all your data for your MacBook uh, or, or Mac computer to an external storage device. So the external storage device I'm using today is a two terabyte external hard drive that I've just plugged into my MacBook. Uh, but I want to use this hard drive, external hard drive for other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to partition 500 gigabytes for my MacBook Time Machine backup. And I'm going to use the 1.5 terabytes that's left. I'm going to set it up so I can use the data on Windows and on Mac. So I've got um, all that storage for my videos and work and day-to-day uh, -day stuff. So to set that up, what I need to do is go to Launchpad. I need to go to Disk Utility. So this will bring up every disk and hard drive connected to your Mac. So I've got my internal hard drive there and I've got my external here, untitled external APFS volume. So what I'm going to do is if you found your hard drive or it's a second hand hard drive or just one that you found in a drawer which you thought you'd use for a backup, uh, what I'd firstly do is go to first aid and run a first aid check and make sure everything's all right. So there's no errors on my drive. And now I'm going to go up to partition and it'll come up with this little pie chart. So what I'm going to do is make 500 gigabytes. So you can change it to hit on the drop down to gigabytes, terabytes and everything. I'm going to make 500 gig and I'm going to make that APFS encrypted. And it comes up with this little password box. So if you click the key, it comes up with suggestions for your passwords. I'm obviously going to blur this out so you don't know what my password is for my Mac backup. So you can change what kind of uh, password it is. So I'm going to go random and just get random letters and punctuation in there. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it down here. And I'm going to choose that. So that password is now um, going to need access to my backups. So I'm going to save that in my keychain so or, or in notes or somewhere safe where if I ever need to access the drive, I know where the password is. So this 1.5 terabyte that I want to use for my media, I'm going to change it to XFAT because that's compatible with Windows and um, Mac. So I can use it on my work PC and my home PCs and also I can work, use it on my MacBook as well. So I'm going to call it uh, untitled 2, I'm just going to call Mac Backup. And then I'm going to call Untitled 2, I'm just going to call it Chris's, which is me, hard disk drive. And then I'm going to click Apply. And then it comes up saying it's going to erase everything on here. Obviously there's nothing on it, so I'll click Partition. And it's going to apply those settings and erase it. So now that operation is finished, I'm going to click done. And I've still got only one drive plugged in. But it, when, I plug it, when I'm when i plugging it in, um, my computer sees two drives. So it's seeing I've got Chris's hard disk drive, which is 1.5 terabytes, and it's XFAT. So that means I can use it on Mac and Windows. And then I've got the Mac backup, which is 500 gigabyte, and it's encrypted with that password I've set. So now I'm going to come out of disk utility. I'm going to go to settings. And down at the bottom here, you've got Time Machine. So I'll just click Time Machine. And from there, um, it says I haven't, I've haven't. i got 598 gig available, which is what's on the backup. So I'm going to select the disk. And that's my old backup. And I want I want to put the, onto this new disk drive. So I'm going to click Use Disk. And I'm going to replace it. Put in keychain. So that's the password I copied. So now, if I go to options, it's excluding my hard disk drive and my Mac backup. So, so now I put show time machine, I have that ticked. So it comes up here in a little clock. And I put backup automatically. 
So now if I go to my desktop, I've got Chris's hard disk drive, which is 1.5 terabytes. And then I've got my Mac Time Machine Mac back up here. And you can enter Time Machine and just go back to any day on any folder as long as it's backed up. I'm going to click. And as you can see now, it's backing up onto that disk. Um, and then I've still got 1.5 terabytes to play with here as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.